Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Let me ask you a question. How many of you were raised on a farm? How many of you have parents or grandparents that were raised on a farm? You know, since we've become a urban and suburban culture, a lot of people have lost our appreciation for farming and for agriculture. But you know, when Jesus was teaching people 2000 years ago, every listener was familiar with planting seeds and harvesting crops, they couldn't just run down to Brookshire Brothers or Whole Foods and pick up whatever they wanted. Back then, they had to eat what the land produced. That's why so many of Jesus' parables are about plants and seeds. Have you ever seen a mustard seed? Let me show you a picture of what one looks like. This is a mustard seed. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus says the kingdom of God is like a mustard seed, which is actually the smallest seed you can plant in the ground. But when it plants, it grows and becomes the largest of all garden plants. With such big branches, Jesus says, that the birds of the air can perch in its shade. In another place, Matthew 17, 20, Jesus says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. Now, the only kind of mustard most of us are familiar with is the kind you put on a hot dog. <laughs> but the reason that Jesus talks about the mustard seed was because mustard seeds were everywhere around the Sea of Galilee. So the question is, if a mustard seed is so small, and I always think of my faith as something that needs to be big or to grow, why does Jesus say mustard seed faith is enough? Well, because biblical faith has nothing to do with my personal effort. In other words, when we talk about biblical faith, all the strength, all the power should come from the object of faith, which is God. And it's not the size of faith. Jesus says even mustard seed size faith will do. So was Jesus being literal when he said that faith could uproot a mountain and throw it into the sea? No. But Jesus was telling us that only faith in a powerful God can accomplish the things that only a powerful God can do. We as Christians must take care to place our faith not in ourselves, but in God. And that means we must seek to know him deeply, we must study his character, and we should dwell on his promises. Hey, would you join me in prayer? Dear God, you are the God of the impossible, and I am so weak and so frail, but you are all powerful. Thank you that my hope doesn't rest in the strength of my own faith, but in your strength, however small it is. Keep my faith focused on you alone. Convince and comfort me with your character and promises. Help me align my will with yours. Keep me in your word so that my faith is rooted in a firm foundation. And I ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this week at Walden Church, we're talking about living our best life and how to better tap into our mustard size faith. We're talking about faith and what faith is how we can live uh, a life of faith. Uh, we invite you to join us. At 9.30, we have our traditional service. We sing hymns and we have a choir. And then at 11 o'clock, we have our contemporary service with our worship team. We also have a children's program and we also have youth that meet at that hour. We also have a youth group that meets every single week on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. You can send your kids over on their skateboards or their bicycles. We will even feed them dinner and we'll send them back to you in about an hour and a half. Hey, let us know how we can minister to you. We wanna be the church where you live. I'll see you guys soon, bye.